Today is tax day, but is it really for us here in San Diego? <laughs> this well, guy does. Here to clear things <laughs> up, we have Rafael Tolina with the IRS. Um, well, good morning. Thank you. And by the way, I grew up next to a Zodis where I grew up in L.A. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so are we I old? Am, yes. <laughs> we tell. Yes. I used to love going to Zodis. Oh, okay. my goodness. I got knockoff Reeboks. It was Zodis. around the corner. Oh, yeah. There okay. you go. Mm -hmm. uh, Raphael, real quick. Yep. We, obviously, today we know is tax day, but for San Diegans, there's been an extension. There was a lot of confusion because it was saying that those who were impacted by natural sure. disasters in California, you know, that they could file later in October. But then for folks in San Diego, wait, wait, I live in San Diego, however, I wasn't necessarily impacted. Who exactly qualifies? So I'll step back and just say this. There were three separate and unique disasters brought on by the flooding we had from late December. Remember right after Christmas, it rained for like nine days yes. in a row, especially up north, right? So these three unique disasters, FEMA comes along and they're declared, presidentially declared disaster areas. So these three unique disasters brought 55 of 58 counties to the table in terms of the tax relief provided. Mm -hmm. FEMA declares that the IRS steps in and says, okay, we'll provide tax relief. And usually in what it is basically is postponement of deadlines. Mm -hmm. Not only the 1040 deadline we have today, but other various individual and business returns. Those three separate and unique disasters, a lot of the counties were redundant. It ends up being 55 of 58 counties are eligible for tax relief that provide for a postponement of deadlines, including today's, through October, was through May. Right. Now mm -hmm. it's through October 16th. So the two, the three counties that don't get the relief per yeah. the FEMA disaster declaration are all in the northeast corner of the state, Shasta, Modoc, and I believe one other, I can't think of at the top of their way up, you know, in Nevada, near Nevada and Oregon. So pretty much all of California. Pretty much. We're talking I mean, about just here. the vast majority of all of us I, get that extra time if we want it. Now that being said, real quick, yeah. You can file today, you can get it done. Mm -hmm. If you have a refund coming, as yeah. most of us do, it's about seven of 10, the way to get the refund is to file the tax return. Right. Does right. that mean you can wait? Yes, because October 16th is to file, normally that's the extension. But this year, it's to file and pay. Right. Right. So you don't have to necessarily send the check tonight. Normally would say, hey, file the return as late as you want through October 16th, this year the 16th, normally the 15th, right, because right, of the weekend. But then consider making a payment of something by tonight, today, whatever. That way you avoid penalty interest that can accrue. This year, because of that, you really don't have to pay today if you don't want. You can put that off through October like the extension normally does with filing the return. Does that make sense? So it, it does. I mean, it's a lot to get through yes. because I think the initial confusion had to do with, okay, so 55 of these 58 counties in California qualified for this, but then it said if you've been impacted, and some people, including myself, said, well, I wasn't so fortunately right. it wasn't so right. does that can i also push back my so, so now it seems like it's everybody in it's san diego a, it's, a, it's a blanket uh provision okay. and it. basically the irs will note the address of record sure. where it is in the disaster area i.e san diego county right. here okay and note the extension and the ability to you know, uh, waive the fees and penalties so to speak yeah. not apply those if you get something write a letter that says, wait a minute, then you have every right to go to the, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Right. I, I have a lot, I, have, I have live here, mm -hmm. therefore I, I would get okay. this relief if I want sure. to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Well, that cleared up a lot already. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But, so what's the benefit? I mean, you mentioned, you know, if you have to make your payments, they're going to be due. At is there a benefit to uh, getting that extension to people? Is the, I mean, to, if, if I wasn't impacted, for example, well, if I don't have a legitimate reason from the, uh, directly impacted by the storms, what benefit is there? Well, you could make the argument that if I don't have to pay until October 16th, I can keep my money in my pocket, so to speak, sure. and pay sure. it when I want, right? And that includes other deadlines, quarterly estimated payment uh, de deadlines, other various business individual returns, estate and gift. These different returns are due throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. Exempt organizations, for example, generally have a deadline of May 15th. So, I mean, you get the idea that you, you, you have this choice if you want it. Mm -hmm. if, that, you want. if you want it. Right. You, know, sure. you can file next week, you can file yeah. whenever, mm -hmm. uh, but the, the bottom line is that is there for you based on the provisions and the postponement of these deadlines that do give us yeah. the ability to kind of put things off if we wish. And, and, and like, that's, that's just the bottom line. And yeah, like you said, we won't know if we, we get a refund until we file. That's why we file. Well, you know what you can do is you can run some numbers in software. 
And, oh, and you know what I mean? Okay. You can do it yourself, okay. get up a software program and run some numbers and see where you are. You don't have to hit submit or enter okay. or do anything, okay. but you can actually just kind of pick a software program depending on how you do it. Yeah. Gotcha. And there's other ways to do things, by the way, uh, free and all these different mm -hmm. uh, services and resources available. But yeah, run some numbers or use last year as a guide if nothing sure. really changed sure. majorly in your in your year previous. So this October thing, there's nothing special you need to do. It's just, right. it's for everybody. Uh, October, you don't have to file for, uh, hey, I need an extension. It's just, it, that's yeah, just the This year is very extraordinary for that. Very extraordinary. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. let, let, for people who were directly impacted by the storms, for whom I guess this was done, um, is there anything else? Is there any other help out there? Yeah, there's casualty related? losses. You can deduct casualty losses and they aren't reimbursed by insurance and mm -hmm. things like that. And that gets a little nuanced and complex depending on where it is and what it is and what happened and all that. But yeah, th that part of it uh, is available as well. And those casualty losses, there's a, uh, a way you can do that. It's a skeleton we put together, right? Yeah. No matter where the flooding or the earthquake or the, the hurricane is around mm -hmm. the country, we have these disaster declarations happen all the time, unfortunately. And the, the relief provided usually is postponement of deadlines and some special provisions that allow casualty losses to be deducted, which they normally are, plus a little bit extra based on the law and what, mm -hmm. when and how and where and all that, how it applies, so. Just so unique this year and everything yes. is just kind of so different. So thank you, uh, because yep. you got to kind of roll with the punches too in your yes. life. Yes. I will tell you one other thing. You yeah. can still claim, uh, uh, get, uh, unclaimed refunds right from 2019 tax year okay. but this year you have until July 15th because remember in 2020 the deadline moved to July 15th because of COVID right so normally that deadline would be today for those unclaimed refunds you have three years to get that goes out so uh, July 15th uh, thinking July about 15th. the oh my goodness the, the, it's Look been an extraordinary few years or last right. year because of COVID and now this so yeah I just thought throw that in there you get the idea things are <laughs> have moved around a lot more than they did I just many years you, previous like, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> oh gosh I can't Thank imagine you, what your your text messages look like right and, now. Right and now. I appreciate no. you saying that you did go to Zodi's because uh, <laughs> this new, everybody around here looks at me like I'm insane. Like it was I right on the up. corner. It was like it was like Target before Target. <laughs> Thank you. Back in the 70s. It was Target <laughs> before Target. Something like that. Zodies. I remember it right. <laughs> and a ten-year-old walking in there. Hey, what can yeah. I go buy? And you Mom? can play the video games anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. See. Okay. Let's see, it's not just me. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for reminiscing Raphael. with me. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to do it anytime. Thank you, sir.